Hi, you guys. Welcome back to Psychic Renegade. Sarah, my name is Bethany. We're going to do a karma reading tonight, but I want to do a different style, kind of like a collective style. So instead of doing pick a card, if you're drawn to the topic of this reading, then it's for you. And I'm just going to do a collective karma reading. So this one is... <laughs> This one's going to be, what's the karma for the jealous hoe in your life? So if you have a jealous hoe in your life, a hater, someone is just, whatever, wants to be you, wants to stalk you, whatever the case is, you know you have a jealous hoe in your life. It could be a female or female energy. This reading is for you. So let's look at their karma. If you want to work with me, check out my website or my Instagram. You can DM or email me to book and... Uh, my website is always linked. All right. Thank you to all my regular clients. I love you guys. And thank you to my subscribers. If you guys want more content, let me know. I have a list of celebrity readings I'm going to get to because you guys are loving those. So I will get to those over the holidays probably. So stay tuned. All right. What's the karma for this jealous hoe? Oh. <laughs> All right, um, this person is going to be caught in addiction and caught in their own bull, basically. Um, the traps that they set out for you is what they're gonna fall into. I feel like the more hate they spew towards you, the deeper and deeper they are actually digging themselves. Uh, this person, dabbles in any kind of spiritual practice it's gonna go really left for them I don't feel like they know what they're doing they don't they're not protected or if they've pissed off some spirits probably your ancestors um yeah this person is chained to toxicity they're literally trying to drag you to hell with them because this is a this is a doomed soul is what I'm hearing so this person might have sold their soul to the devil a long time ago, or they just resonate with darker, low vibing energy. Uh, I am gonna take reversals in this. So this came out reverse, King of Cups. Um, they're gonna suffer emotionally. If they're in love with someone, that's going to deteriorate. They won't be able to satisfy this person. They won't be able to please this person. They are gonna always be at odds. Um, they're just not what this person wants or they're always going to get with people that they can't fulfill so that they feel less than. It's some kind of like punishment basically. Uh, especially if this person came between you and someone that you love is what I'm seeing. Um, if they're waiting for an offer from someone, it's never gonna come. <clears throat> like if they're a side chick, they're gonna stay a side chick. If they're waiting to get married, that's never gonna happen. Like this person's never going to Give them what they ultimately want. King of Wands. This is going to hurt their pride as well. So they're going to be stuck in a lot of toxicity, which is going to affect their love life because they're going to reek of it. They're going to reek of this jealousy, this toxicity. I feel like they've been projecting it onto you successfully for a while, but this is coming. This is coming out. So their person is starting to realize. Um, or someone around the people around them if you have any mutual people or the people around them are starting to realize their actual motives and what's going on here um, flew out the emperor yeah i'm getting a lot of jealous so it's like baby boss energy this person like is fake flexing they're very jealous of you and your power and your potential so they're trying to flex on you but it's not working. Oh my God, my camera. It's not working. So you don't care or you're not materialistic or you actually have more than this person. You just don't flaunt it the same way. So if they do try to, I'm hearing the word like check you. If they try to check you, they're going to look stupid. Um, even if this person has more than you in the material world, they don't hold a candle to you in the spiritual world and they're gonna learn that the hard way. King of Wands. This person might lose their job, their position, their title. They're definitely gonna take a hit to their pride with the Emperor coming out here too and the King of Cups. Um, they might stand firm on a lie and it's gonna be found out. Like there's gonna be hard evidence. 
that this person was lying or faking something for quite a while. Like, if something's going to make them look really stupid, like some sob story they had or some lie they had about you, if you know this person, it's like some story that they've spun is going to come out. So if this person has been putting lies on you, that's going to come out in the open. Six of Cups. Something from the past is coming back up. So I feel like this is something they got away with in the past or were successful in doing in the past. Slandering your name in some kind of way. Um, influencing people's perception of you. Something like that. I feel like they came between you and some important people. Someone you love, someone you cared about, or a position you held. Um, in a community, in a workplace, um, and something like that. And I feel like, so the karma, okay, so part of their karma, part of their karma is they're going to have to actually watch people apologize to you. So I feel like the people that took their side are going to feel bad that this all happened and played out and realized who was a snake and you're going to get some apologies and it's going to kill this person to know that these people actually care. They feel bad that they took their side and... They're going to reach out to you. Um, clarify the Emperor and the King of Wands. Clarify the Emperor and the King of Wands. Yeah, someone's losing a lot of money. I feel like a investment is going sour. Um, might be issues with a job or a home or a property or investment or something significant. Um, is going to have need some really expensive repairs. This person might get demoted. Like, uh, they're... Their money's taking a hit. I feel like this person is very materialistic. Spirit knows that, so they're hitting them, hitting them where it hurts. Um, they might be spending their money on some toxic habits. If this person drinks, pops pills, gambles, whatever. Um, this person is always also going to be dealing with uh, insomnia and a lack of rest. Even when they do get like eight hours sleep, they're going to wake up and feel tired. This person is going to be plagued by your ancestors and some some people and some spirits that they've disrupted actually on the other side. This person did like quite a lot of stuff to you to the point where it pissed off some of your guardians and... Uh, I don't even feel like you're lifting a finger in this <clears throat> situation. It's out of your hands. Your <laughs> your ancestors are pissed. Um, whoever you pray to, uh, they're going after this person. They're not letting them sleep. They're being plagued by nightmares, probably some apparitions. Like stuff's going like on in their house. Like they're getting messed with energetically because they're vibrating so low. They're calling this in to their home. So, um, I feel like they sent energy towards you with evil eye, with spell work, with some like, um, ill intention and it's coming back to them. If you're a pure heart, like you didn't do anything wrong. So this, this energy is coming back to them is why they're being haunted. The fool, um, this person's going to be made to look foolish in some kind of way. I feel like this person really, really, really hangs on their pride with the Emperor and the King of Wands here. Uh, they're going to be cut down a size or two. Like, something is going to happen that's very publicly embarrassing. I feel like they're going to go against you in some kind of way or say something. People are just going to be looking at them like they're immature and childish. I don't know. Like, it's... The magician. Um, they might get caught manipulating energy or doing spell work. This person might be a closet witch. I feel like you're a spiritualist, whatever you believe, like, but you're open about your beliefs. I feel like this person's like a closet witch. This is like the kind of person that like goes to church on Sunday. You're like a spiritualist, like minding your business, manifesting, drinking your water, <laughs> like what's your name says. And then this person's gonna sit there and like call you a witch or say that you're bad or like put out a witch hunt on you basically and it's funny because like this person actually might practice black magic behind the scenes or literally be a dark witch and they're well, anyway 
Like, I don't feel like anything you do it causes anyone harm. Like, you'd never do manipulation magic if you do any kind of magic. It's probably just protection magic, stuff like that. This person's trying to paint out your character to be something it's not, and it's coming out to light to see. The people are going to see how sadistic and psycho and obsessed this person is with you because they've made up this whole fake narrative in their head about who you are and what you do and what you believe and they really they literally pulled it out of their ass like they literally made it up so they should like go into acting or something but um this person is gonna have to watch you be happy get what you want get the person you want get like the happy ending i feel like nothing this person does is gonna touch you um you're still manifesting, you're still doing your thing, you're still moving forward, and it's gonna kill this person. They, they can't defeat you. And I feel like literally, they could steal like your dream person, and then God's gonna hand you someone 10 times better. They could steal your dream job, and then God's gonna like make you a self-made millionaire. <laughs> they could shit on your name, and then they're gonna like publicly embarrass themselves, and it's gonna be like on the news, and people are literally going to come apologize to you. Like they're, everything they're trying to spin and these traps that they're laying out for you, they're tripping in themselves. And even when they think they've won with the magician here, they're still going to look dumb. So I feel like you're about to get married. You're about to turn around and be happy. Like you have your own thing. Like I literally feel like you don't care. And this person still attacks you. So... If you're wondering like, oh, why don't they get a worse fate or what's gonna happen for them? Part of, the main part of their karma is your your happiness and your glow up. That's how petty this person is. It is going to kill them to see you happy. More than like any bad thing that could happen to them that they'll just play victim with, them watching you be happy is literally gonna be the worst the worst fate that they, they could ever become them so don't worry they're gonna have to watch this oh my god look it's like they're literally gonna spend the rest of their days like minding their business and your business like this person is never like they feel like their energy is tied to you and maybe it is maybe that's part of their punishment is having to be tied to you in some kind of way to where they have to witness this I don't know if you guys are related, you have friends in common, you're from the same area, or if they just know your social media and can't help themselves but to keep an eye on you. Yeah, this person like can't help themselves but lurk. And that's part of their karma too. So, yeah, anyway. So if you've been feeling yourself lately, then that's fine because that honestly is what kills them. Imagine being that petty. Um, yeah, this person's gonna have to watch people giving you your accolades, um, buying you nice things, treating you nice, spoiling you. Like, if you get with a partner, you're gonna get like back rubs. This person's gonna like please you in more than one way. They're gonna be a good cook. They're gonna keep the house clean. They're gonna pay the bills. They're gonna be loyal. They're gonna make you laugh. Like. They're gonna have good sex. Like it's, the list goes on and on. Like you're gonna have no complaints. You're gonna be a satisfied woman is what I'm hearing. Um, if you're a man watching this, same thing. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get used to talking to more men. My channel was like 90% female and now it's pretty, it's evening out more. I have more males on my channel, so. <clears throat> you too, you too. This is gonna be like the perfect woman uh, or man, uh, the son. What did I say? Like, it's so funny because at first it was talking to kind of about like their mindset and karma and so this going to happen. And then when we switch to the globe energy, this is spirit saying that is their ultimate karma is your glow up, your happiness, even a child, maybe, um, you might have a child on the way, uh, or they're going to have to watch you like be a really good parent or have children with the person you love um sunflowers might be significant in some kind of way um i'm also seeing the color red and checkers 
if you're a big traveler. Um, this is also gonna resonate for people that are already planning a wedding or someone might be planning to propose to you and you don't know that yet. Um, but yeah, you're gonna be happy. Your definition of happiness is something that you're, you're in alignment and you're working towards. And this is what is bringing out jealousy in these hoes. This is why this person attacked you. Um, they tried to knock you down a peg and I feel like they literally stole stuff from you. But God is, God is like smearing it in their face and being like, oh, you're going to take her cookie? Here's a whole bag of cookies, honey. Go have that. Like <laughs> they're, they're going to make this person feel stupid. So don't worry about it. Uh, give it some time. Um, you're going to check back on this reading and laugh when this comes to pass. But yeah, if you got a hater, this person's a jealous hoe for a reason, and that's because you're on a glow up, you're gonna keep glowing up, and this person can't stand that. So keep up the energy. If you guys like that reading, let me know. If you want me to do more short reads like this instead of pick a cards, let me know, and you can just pick them by the title. Um, I'm gonna try that style. See how that goes, see if you guys like it. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe.